Hey everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing a memory upgrade on my ZX Spectrum Next computer, which is right here, which I've shown you before in previous videos. This is an original Kickstarter 1 version Specky Next with one megabyte of RAM. I've just added an external SD card reader to it, but I'm going to install some more memory in it today because I have ordered this package right here, which has arrived, and it should contain some memory chips that I can use to upgrade the memory in this Specky Next. So we're going to go ahead and take apart this unit. It should be a fairly simple operation. All I should need to do is basically plug the chips into the board. <laughs> At least that's what I'm hoping is all I need to do. So first let's go ahead and unbox these chips and see what we have. Now I've ordered these chips on eBay, but I think uh, they should probably work. It seems like a reputable seller. So let's go ahead and open up this package and we'll see what we have here. Oh, it's going to be one of these packages that gives me difficulty opening it, it looks like. Okay, as long as I can get it open without slicing my thumb off here. Apparently not. Um, okay, <laughs> let me try this again a different way. Wow, this thing is really well sealed. What the heck? I'm not good at getting into packages like this. I'm just going to uh, have to guess where the chips are inside. And hopefully I don't cut right through them. Okay, so there we go. <laughs> it looks like we've got some chips poking out finally from the middle of this thing. Oh, and they're taped in as well. So here they are. They are two memory chips. And I'll just take the uh, plastic off of this package here so we can get a better look at them. All right. So this is what they look like. And it says Alliance AS7C. <laughs> I can't hold them very still. Sorry about that. 34096-2117. Uh, okay. I think that's enough shaky video for now. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and take apart my next. I'll switch over the camera so we can get a better look at it. And we'll take apart the next and see how easy it is to install these chips. So stick around. We'll be right back. All right. So there we go. 768K of usable RAM, which means it does have indeed one megabyte of RAM installed total. So let's go ahead now and open her up and get it upgraded with some more RAM chips. All right, so here's my Specky Next and my trusty screwdriver. So let's go ahead and open her up. And this shouldn't be too difficult because it's been opened, obviously, at least once before to install the external card reader. But there are... How many screws? Okay, so there's a couple screws under the feet. <clears throat> Other than that, there's just one, two, three, four. So six screws total. And I'll just go ahead and remove them. Okay, they all came out nicely except for one, but I think it's loose enough that we can go ahead and get this thing open now. Oh, <laughs> there it is. Came out after all. There we go. Okay, so let's go ahead and pop this open. And which way should I do it? From the top or the bottom? I forget. So let's see if I can open it from the bottom. Looks like I can. Maybe I'll take out the SD card just to be safe. And come on, there we go. Okay, so the top comes off completely. Let's set that aside. And here we have the PCB, which is held in with some more screws. There's actually two PCBs. You can see one here and one here. So this one. I may need to take out both of these unless I can get at the connectors relatively easily. But I'll go ahead and take out this large PCB first. And it looks like all of the screws for the 
outer case are the same size here. And then the PCB screws, I'm guessing, are all the same size as well. So I've taken out two so far. And then there's another one here. All right, and one more over here. And is that it? Okay, uh, I think that's it. Let's see, yep. Oh, I need to uh, take off my electrical tape at the back here because it's holding the cover into the onto the case. Okay, so now I should be able to take out this large PCB, which I can. And you can see it's connected to this smaller daughter board here using this ribbon cable. So I could take out this daughter board or I could just unplug this ribbon cable if I can get access to it here. Let's see if it's going to come out easily. Yep, so that came out pretty easily. And, oh, now we've got some keyboard cables to deal with here. So I'll just... Uh, remove those from the board now uh, somehow okay all right so here they are I'll just pull them out just like that all right so is it free now what's there's another little ribbon cable here I need to remove And now the PC board is free. And you can see how I have my external SD card reader connected. It goes through this little pigtail here, which connects onto this header underneath here onto the board. And then there's another pigtail that leads onto the daughter board. So I'll just move that aside. And here are the two empty slots for the memory chips I'll be installing, which are right here. Well, there's one of them. Where'd the other one go? Okay, I've lost my second memory chip. All right, it's over here. So there we go, two memory chips now. And to install them, let's see if there's a notch. There is, there's a little Let's see if I can show it in the camera here. You can see there's a little notch or a little dimple in this lower left corner right here. So that needs to line up with this cutoff corner of the socket here and here. Okay, so here's my first chip I'm going to put in. I'll put it in this socket here. Oh. I see the chip doesn't fit the socket. It's uh, there are two pins free on the end. So I could Google this and see which end the chip is supposed to line up with. But I'm going to just use my common sense and guess that the key is supposed to be on pin one because this dimple indicator on the chip indicates pin one and pin one of the socket would be right here. So to me, it makes sense that pin one would line up with, with pin one. It wouldn't make sense to me that the chip would be shifted over toward this end of the socket where these free pins are. In that case, pin one would no longer line up with pin one on the chip and the socket. So I'm just gonna take a guess here and hope that pin one of the socket is supposed to line up with pin one of the chip. All right, so there's the first chip installed. And I'll put in the second one here. Again, lining up pin one with pin one. And there we go. Now we'll just hope that that is correct and actually works. So I'll go ahead and reinstall the screws, reassemble this Specky next, and we'll turn it on and we'll see if I have my memory upgrade. So be right back. Alright, so I've got my Specky Next back together now. 
and I probably should have tested it out before screwing it all back together with all six screws I guess but uh, that's okay we're gonna go ahead and give it a shot here and hopefully I'll get lucky so I'll put the card back in it all right go ahead and reconnect the wires with the HDMI cable first and then the power cable Okay, now we're ready to test it out. So let's go ahead and switch the screen over and see if it works. All right. And there we go. We now have 1792K of available RAM, which means I do actually have now two megabytes installed in my Speccy Next. Cool. So that's it for today, just a quick video showing how easy it is to upgrade the memory in the original Kickstarter 1 version Specky Next. And as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Take care.